Good morning. I'm Shane Downey, broadcasting to you from the GBTA conference here in Hamburg. Joining me today is Mikhail Wiesman, Managing Director and VP EMEA with CIBT. Mikhail, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure. So as you're taking a look, how can companies create a workable cross-border travel strategy without risking the business agility? I think in general right now, we're a bit surprised to see uh, how much travel is actually coming along. I think that's a bit ahead of the curve, what we uh, anticipated. But definitely agileness is the key word, right? Mm -hmm. uh, such companies as ourselves, we, uh, we take pride in, in trying to navigate this uh, this in these risk and these uh, boundaries we see at the moment mm -hmm. and how we can better support and assist uh, clients uh, going to and from yeah. destinations for sure. Well, and as you're looking at that, so what is driving the evolution of, of the interrelated global risk and, and how does this affect the mobility and of the travel industries? I think it, it goes without saying that the uh, COVID had a major impact mm -hmm. to the travel industry in general, but also some of the geopolitical stuff. Yeah. We have the wars, the conflict in Ukraine. Uh, that heavily affects, um, we could use a, uh, an example such as the visa uh, agencies, some of the uh, local visa centers. So a five days uh, strike in, for instance, France actually lead up to bottlenecks or no appointment availability. And I think sometimes the end traveler doesn't understand how much work goes into processing right. the visa. They're accustomed to book, booking yeah. the accommodation, the rental cars, mm -hmm. the plane tickets. They're likely to, to book a restaurant as well. And they don't uh, necessarily understand there could be a lag time of visa processing. Our position within the market is to make sure there's workarounds mm -hmm. and that also we can use our experience and our knowledge throughout the industry to service the, the end client better. It, look, it's unfortunate where we are today, but it's certainly one that we've been thinking about and seeing it, just that bigger risk areas and, and the problems that we're seeing around the world. And so it's a good, good, act, good reason to be involved with it. So what is the partnership of technology and humor interaction in the mobility and travel landscape? I think we wanna we wanna be more actively using the data at hand. We have all the data from from various markets, from um, visited country throughout the year historically, pre-COVID and, and now. So we wanna be more actively using that data mm -hmm. and also putting it in front of clients. So if they have X amount of travel to China and we know there's changes mm -hmm. coming, we wanna be actively reaching out to the client saying, hey. We know you have historically travels going there. Are you aware that there's slight changes? So make sure that we communicate mm -hmm. proactively mm -hmm. and also act as a partner. We want to be really close with everyone benefits from having the right yeah. data at the right time. And um, we did recently did a survey um, looking at the e-visa conversion, right? So mm -hmm. traditional standalone paper visas. Mm -hmm converting into e-visas, 70% of the re, uh, recently established e-visa types is at the back of COVID. So definitely the visa centers, the embassies, the countries in particular, they're looking at making things more digital and we want to join that journey. Um, so we have technology is coming in. We have this single sign-on features where you basically you're accustomed to having your own profiles as mm -hmm. platforms. We reuse that information for China, Estas, so make it much more transparent, much more easy and convenient for the travel. And that's what we're hoping for, right? Exactly. That's the goal. And with that, Mikkel, thank you for joining me at the broadcast studio. Today, I'm Shane Downey, broadcasting to you from the GBTA conference in Hamburg. Thank you for tuning in.